Hi, Carol. I'm going to do your 15-minute spiritual healing now. So you got some different things going on in your life. Um, you're feeling kind of stuck. Um, you're looking for a position, a job that's more in line with your life's purpose. Um, and then just some, some family relationship um, challenges. You're just wanting more understanding. So let me see how, what Spirit wants to share here, um, spiritual healing-wise, to help you through all this, okay? So, so I'm just connecting with really reading your questions here and then connecting, okay? Wow, there's a quick uh, flap of wings and they're kind of, they're not angel wings, they're more like um, gargoyle wings or something. They're really flapping quick and they're dropping somebody off. And now they're flapping away. I'm over here to this somebody. They're wearing blue jeans. It's a male. He's smoking a cigarette. Everything is so distorted. Like I'm trying to figure this out by looking through loopholes. Like I'm trying to read or understand what I'm seeing by looking through many different cylinders of openings um, in order to piece together an image. Even this cylindrical thing, it, it's, it's strange. It's like, is it a cigarette? Is it a, a fake cigarette? Is it just a straw? <laughs> Even that is a loophole, you know? Even his eyes are loopholes. Even the genes have cylindrical parts for legs. I'm feeling very frustrated. I feel like I want to get past all this. I want to see through all the. I want to see through all the holes. As in, I want to just create clarity. I want to wash the window and just step through it. And now here I am with this gentleman. But it's just, it's like I'm banging and banging and I, I'm getting more and more frustrated. And the more frustrated I, frustrated I get, the harder it is to get through this barrier. The more it's even like getting thicker and thicker, like it's turning into bulletproof glass that is now like a foot th thick and I still am looking through loopholes. I'm so mad. I mean, I am getting so mad. I'm just getting really mad. I'm trying to break it it's hard when the emotions rise like that to step back and become peaceful with it i say i am peaceful that helps to trigger change what well, they ask me what are you peaceful with and i say i am choosing i say i am peaceful as a tool to help calm me down when i get frustrated they're saying that is the key to opening this invisible door. You say, I am peaceful. You see how easy it is now to get to what you are trying to attain? Instead of fighting your way there, it makes it a lot harder, doesn't it? When you just relax and accept the way things are, now a doorway opens for you. Now you can walk through it. To get to the things that you desire to reach. I say, I'm still dealing with what feels like too many holes in my vision. I don't want to be seeing through holes. I want to see just a clear picture. I see with clarity. They say, you say, I see with clarity. So I do this. They say, I see with clarity. I'm watching him smoking a cigarette. It's interesting because he's got really dark hair. He's really thick hair. There's something kind of cool about him. He's wearing a white shirt, it's tucked into blue jeans. The kind of old school appeal. He's a young man. I mean, he's very handsome. He's like a cool dude. I mean, but in the old, like, it, Greece, you know, like the movie Greece or whatever. So, something kind of cool like that, you know. I 
I feel sad and misunderstood. I feel I feel like we see through two different lenses. What I see, what he sees, our eyes do not see alike. What we believe in is not alike. It does not feel that like there is a blending or a balance between us. Like we could work in motion, you know, in oneness we could blend together. I feel a sadness in my heart over this. When I say I am peaceful, I, I feel like I can, I'm able to come to, I'm able to, to feel, ask, contemplate the right questions in order to in order to understand that why i'm frustrated really really has is just really based upon the fact that i feel that we aren't seeing eye to eye and that there is some sort of pain in my heart over this and i do get frustrated too at times they're asking about control. How about we put up barriers here? Now the barriers create control over you, or do they? Are barriers maybe an illusion? They're showing me they are putting back up this very thick wall and all of these loopholes and and the doorway is shut now and they're asking now what will you do? They're asking you to they want to push your buttons, so to speak, in order for you to really take a look at the scenario and really think about what this means. No amount of getting angry is ever going to correct the barrier. Only when you choose to say, I am patient now, does it heal, does it heal this version of separation and this feeling of disconnect. This is important, they say. They are creating more of a gap between you. This gap is you both standing on two separate sides of a canyon. How will you ever reach him? How are you ever going to get all the way over there to him? Now when you say, I choose patience, how will patience ever move your body over there to get to his body? Doesn't that make you angry? That's what they say. That you say, you know what, in this scenario, I understand that patience is the only choice. This, it is the only choice. And sometimes then, when you choose patience as the only choice, you're actually just choosing acceptance, right? They say, when you say, I choose acceptance, instantly... The grounds move completely together, and now you literally could walk to each other very easily. And there's birds singing, and there's warm sunshine, and there's beautiful flowers here too. And it's actually so warm and loving. You could just go instantly go to him and hug him and say, Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be this close to you. I'm so happy. It was really hard to feel so separated. It just was confusing and I felt bewildered by it. There's more to it than just this. But they say the keys are in choosing patience, choosing acceptance. But they highlight, I choose patience. And then once you really learn about patience and the power of patience, do you find a means just naturally for patients to translate into I choose acceptance that's what they say they're showing me like a, a pterodactyl flying in the sky it makes a funny noise it literally sounds kind of like like an eagle or like a really loud bird noise like that so I'm just watching it it's just flying. Thing is, is that I hear this noise, but I don't see its mouth opening up to speak. It's just, I hear a noise. It sounds like it must be this, but it's not opening its mouth at all to even make a noise. 
It's just flapping its wings and looking around. That's all it's doing. It feels very far away, although it feels like it should be here already. I feel an instant... I mean, I feel energetically improved as I'm watching this bird. I feel really intense energy in my body. And it's positive. It's really a part of my he mind, too. I, I'm impressed by the way this feels. <laughs> I'm feeling it even by, like, kind of my earlobes and behind my ears as well. It's almost stifling to breathe because the energy is so intense from it. I feel freedom. I feel freedom in ways I can't even possibly explain. I feel like I am the bird and I, I am the pterodactyl. I am the old dinosaur bird. I, I, but it's not about age. It's not about appearance. It is just about the freedom of being able to fly this high in the sky to see everything from up here to move easily on the breeze wherever you want to go. It's insanely beautiful. The feeling that I'm getting from this is amazing. That means it's amazing for you too. <laughs> you too are feeling this in your body. We are lifting out some layers of old energy specifically out here we're just pulling them out i mean they just look like plastic just plastic pieces i don't and just watching them being pulled out that relieving stress that sort of pools here in the back the upper back it just feels like it's just oh man uh, there's I'm laying on a table I'm having somebody massaging my shoulders I mean this is you laying on a table somebody's working on your back right now there's that is what the image is you are being feeling really peaceful right now we are really easing the tension really focusing on helping you to relax and ease the tension really focusing on lifting out this it's just, I don't know what it is. It just looks like it's made out of plastic. It's black. It looks like a piece that would go to something. I mean, it's attached to something. I don't know what that something is, but it just looks like a plastic piece. I, I see it coming out, but I also see it still there. So it's a stickler. It's easy to remove, but yet it wants to return. As, just as quickly as it goes, it comes back again. It's sort of like, how do you relieve the stress that just keeps returning, you know? We're human beings. <laughs> Life does that. Oh, I feel the stress relief. Oh, it's come back again. Ah, <laughs> you know, just the way it is, you know. <laughs> That's really what this is. It. And they're showing me that when I move my shoulders, it's like, it's really harder to, to shift and move my body. Like, I could not dance with this shoulder issue. I mean, they're just tight. It's really tight in there. I feel tears coming down. I really want this. I am you laying on the bed as well as watching this event taking place and I am crying um, so you are crying you you feel the more this is acknowledged the more you feel its presence and it's really bothersome and you're really asking you're saying please get it out please get it out of my back I don't want it there anymore I mean you really you're really at first it was like oh finally it was now I'm getting the massage, but then the massage reveals this plastic piece is returned and it's not coming out as easily as you hoped it would. And you're really feeling suffering from it now because we are noticing it, acknowledging that it's there, and now it's like, now it's the only thing you can think about. And it's just, you're focusing on it. And because you're focusing on it, it gets more and more painful the more you focus on it you focus on something else it starts it just sort of vanishes on its own so what is stress it, it's life it challenges right 
And then we focus on them and so they start becoming weights on our shoulders, you know? And so how do we get the weights off our shoulders? We have to alter our pattern of thinking. It's very hard. <laughs> it's very hard as a human being to choose to think positively all the time. Like, why do we have to try to be happy? Like, why, why is it so easy to be stressed out all the time, but it's really hard to be happy? It's just the way it is. That's the challenge of being human and living on Earth, planet Earth. But they're really wanting you to focus on this. They're wanting you to focus on things that create joy. And the more you focus on creating joy, you're actually energetically altering the sort of um, energy pattern of stress, basically. So inhale joy, experience joy, think about joy. And anything that is isn't joy just starts to disappear go away it's not there it's not clinging you don't even notice it because it's healing itself through positive thinking positive thinking heals the weights of stress and and the what stress can do to you mentally emotionally physically even so i'm having you say i'm exploring this we i want to remove this before i complete the work so I'm having you I'm having you think about flowers. I'm having you sitting in a beautiful nature setting where it is sunny and you can hear birds. I'm taking away the thoughts of that bring burden, right? Thinking about human life stresses, job and and, and relationships that you really want to feel balanced with and they just aren't and that's just the way it is. Sometimes that's just the way it is. And it's a learning experience. Now it's a learning experience and patience. And then in acceptance too. And so you just let it go. And I'm also, so two scenes. You're getting the massage. You're out here in nature in a meditative position. You're inhaling the fragrance of flowers, feeling the warm sun. Ah, some part of you just enters, some part of you just ripped the scene apart. It looks like a really freaky monster. You're really angry about how dare I do this. I mean, it's just a, it's just an energy reaction. You put love and peace into a place that's felt stress for a long time and it freaks out a little bit. It really want, it really wraps its clutches around you. It really wants you to know that I'm in control of your happiness. You aren't in control of your happiness. I control it. It's just some part of the ego, you know, that really finds relief in, in the energy of frustration, anger, stress, that sort of thing. Now you're letting stress be in control of your life instead of allowing joy to heal you. It's very, very important that you let go of this, okay? And you can. So just something you just have to work on each and every day. I'm ignoring that energy freak out because the reality is we are still here and do not allow your mind to continue to wander back to the stress, okay? We're here, we're letting go of stress, all right? So let go of stress. Say Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel, whichever, you know, God, can you please help me with this? Here, I'm giving you my stress this stressful piece in my back. I'm giving you the burdens in my mind. I, I really want to work on this. I'm healing in nature and I don't want to keep stressing out. I'm, I will do this over and over and over and over again until I start creating a new pattern of behavior that is experiencing joy and healing and love and all that. Release. You are falling asleep in the scene and in your dreams you are dreaming about the experience of sharing with God, heaven, angels, your burdens and stress and allowing them to carry the weight for you. As that happens, this plastic piece lifts out naturally and your back looks normal in that way. It's being massaged a little bit more and you're just smiling and you look peaceful. It's important that you focus on positive, okay? All right. Um, so thank you very much for this experience. I really hope it's made a big difference in your life. Um, and for those of you watching, if you're interested in spiritual healing with me, please visit my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you for watching.